द कंप्लीट वर्क ऑफ स्वामी बेकानंद द फ्यूचर ऑफ इंडिया एड्रेस बाय स्वामी बेकानंद पार्ट फोर देन देर इज दर आइडिया दैट द शूद्रा कास्ट आर श्योरली दे ऑबॉर्जिनीस वॉट आर दे दे आर स्लेव्स दे से हिस्ट्री रिपीट इट सेल्फ the americans english dutch and the portuguese got hold of the poor africans and made them work hard while they lived and their children of mixed birth were born in slavery and kept in that condition for a long period from that wonderful example the mind jumps back several thousands of years and fancies that the same thing happened here and our archaeologists dreams of india being full of dark eyed aborigines and the bright eyed aryan coming from lord knows where according to some they came from central tibet others will have it that they came from central asia there are patriotic englishmen who think that the aryans were all red haired others according to their idea think that they were all black haired if the writer happens to be a black haired man the aryans were all black haired of late there has been attempt to made to prove that the aryans lived in on the swiss lakes i should not be sorry if they had been all drowned there theory and all some say now that they lived at the north pole lord bless the aryans and their habitations as for the truth of these theories there is not one word in our scriptures not one to prove that the aryan ever came from anywhere outside of india and in ancient india was included afghanistan there it ends and the theory that the shudra were all non aryans and that they were a multitude is equally illogical and irrational it could not have been possible in those days that a few hundred aryans settled and lived here with a few hundred thousand slaves at their command these slaves would have eaten them up made chutney of them in 5 minutes the only explanation is to be found in the mahabharat which says that in the beginning of the satyuga there was one caste the brahmins and then by difference of occupations they went on dividing themselves into different castes and that is the only true and rational explanation that has been given and in the coming satyuga all the other castes will have to go back to the same condition the solution of the caste system in india is therefore assume this form not to degrade the higher caste not to crush out the brahmin the brahminhood is the ideal of humanity in india as wonderfully put forward by shankaracharya at the beginning of his commentary on the gita where he speaks about the reason for krishna's coming as a preacher for the preservation of brahminhood that was a great end this brahmin the man of god he who has been known brahmin the ideal man the perfect man must remain he must not go and with all the defects of the caste now we know that we must all be ready to give to the brahmins this credit that from them have come more men with real brahminness in them than from all other castes that is true that is the credit due to them from all other castes we must be bold enough must be brave enough to speak of their defects but at the same time we must give the credit that is due to them remember the old english proverb give every man his due therefore my friends it is of no use fighting among the castes what good will it do it will divide us all the more weaken us all the more degrade us all the more the days of exclusive privileges and exclusive claims are gone and gone forever from the soil of india and it is one of the greatest blessings of the british rule in india even to the mohammedan rule we owe the great blessing the destruction of the exclusive privilege that rule was after all not all bad nothing is all bad and nothing is all good 
the Mohammedan conquest of India came as a salvation to the downtrodden, to the poor. That is why one fifth of our people became Mohammedans. It was not the sword that did it all. It would be the height of madness to think that it was all the work of sword and fire. And one fifth, one half of you Madras people will become Christians if you do not care. Was there ever a sillier thing before in the world than what I saw in Malabar country? The poor Paria is not allowed to pass through the same street as the high caste man. But if he changes his name to a hodgepodge English name, it is all right. Or to a Mohammedan name, it is all right. What inference would you draw except that these Malabaris are all lunatics? Their homes, so many lunatic asylums, and that they are to be treated with derision by every race in India until they mend their manners and know better. Shame upon them that such wicked and diabolical customs are allowed. Their own children are allowed to die of starvation, but as soon as they take up some other religion, they are well fed. There ought to be no more fight between the castes.